in a very tangible sense the doctrine of solipsism has a difficult struggle whenever it comes up against Das Man. So that the part of ourselves which understands itself as the collective self, for example, that even if um, well, this is a somewhat weak example, better examples could be given, but this is just an example at the level of um, empirical um, datum. It's widely said by the Dasman of the West that uh, Galileo was persecuted by quote unquote religion. Um, Galileo was a personal friend of the Pope at the time, the Catholic Pope. It was during the period of wars that claimed the lives of many millions in the uh, surrounds of Italy. Um, Galileo, by contrast to those who were slaughtered, was put on a very comfortable uh, quote-unquote house arrest. He was actually very good friends with the Pope, and what he was really accused of was, one, he was really an asshole, uh, if you'll excuse me. He insulted a lot of people that didn't have uh, connections at the level he had connections and didn't have the power he had, especially uh, mere university professors who could only uh, fight back by saying things that were true against his uh, miserable uh, sophisms, such as the claim that uh, comets are a quote-unquote atmospheric effect, where uh, atmospheric effect also covers uh, rainbows and the aurora borealis, uh, therefore not uh, uh, massive objects, which the university professors uh, said was not true. Galileo called them uh, stupid asses and other such things in uh, written retorts for that. So he was censured, uh, not just for that, but also for uh, latent um, uh, misologies, such as um, using extreme outlier claims uh, to argue against uh, reality. So, so, for instance, that his core claim being there is such a thing as the inertial frame of reference, which implies a perfect vacuum. And in reality, we never come across a perfect vacuum or anything approaching a vacuum in ordinary life, except that we uh, create something that simulates a vacuum, uh, as in the case of uh, the kind of, for instance, the kind of section you can use to siphon uh, gasoline out of a uh, gas tank. Um, this is an example of something Das, where I know perfectly well that Das Mann has one view of the matter, the popular view of the matter, and therefore, in a sense, uh, even on this issue, I must come into identity and be the same as Das Mann in order to recognize the power of that opinion. Um, that's just one sense in which we must keep in mind that we are, uh, as it were, this collective being. Uh, against that, solipsism says each one is this uh, their own death. Each one is that which is uh, never repeated. Um, this is, uh, as it were, uh, difficult in gaining cogency for. So one thing in the Heideggerian sense of 
of Dasein, we have a kind of uh, struggle against um, the view that it doesn't make sense to talk about Dasein, but rather it makes sense to talk about a sort of a generalized being, and then we sort of treat ourselves as though we were some general being that would be repeated a million times, uh, rather than uh, an individual, as it were. Um, one manner, let's say, in which the solipsistic being, uh, in which the, let's say, the, um, the office of vengeance uh, devolves its uh, uh, project or agenda onto uh, the Sidegarian Dasein. Um, I would say could be reached through the doctrine of simultaneous reincarnation, which is as follows. Um, each being uh, is the same being simultaneously, so that the problem, which is totally uh, radically um, disavowed and as though utterly forgotten by objective or experimental uh, Dasein um, takes its vengeance by insisting that there's a radical problem with that consciousness, as it were, if it takes on any content, must take on the content of this uh, particular life, which each one is, and which is unrepeatable. But at the same time, it has, as it were, for its material, material, uh, just as though, just as in the making of a thing, anything, uh, a backpack must require some material um, to make it with, whether leather or some other material, fabric. Um, on analogy with that, there's uh, consciousness is the material which is then shaped in some particular way, just like there's a small backpack, narrow backpack, a fat backpack. In the same way, the whole content of any character, personality, or life, um, one could say, is made out of this one material, so that it's, what we're really talking about is a simultaneous reincarnation of that possibility of consciousness, which is unitary. Just as matter is only one thing, consciousness is only one thing. But in this sense, um, this is the making of Dasein. So in this way, uh, we have an alienation from the now present Dasein, which is the egotist Dasein, you see. So that, um, as it were, out of being unaware of the ego, in the sense of a extravagant, for instance, if you look at the um, uh, the analysis, uh, I think it's um, one of the Kyoto school, uh, Nishatini, I think, uh, who wrote this analysis where he showed that um, the starting level of nihilism in Dostoevsky is extravagant, and then it moves up and, um, through fort through. Uh, that stage and three other stages, four stages total, to the maximal um, nihilism, uh, which I believe is uh, an Ivan in uh, Brothers Karmazov. Um, this uh, Dasein, who is no longer, as it were, spontaneously a Dasein of the people, so for its extravagant, even though he committed a, a, a terrible crime, his uh, principle behind it, which he gives in a, a newspaper article according to the uh, narrative, um, was that in certain cases, if a man sees that it's going to be better for uh, the Russians as a whole to do a certain act, uh, or whoever its people are as a whole to do a certain act, taken as a you know, if it was taken as a universal principle, um, he must take seize upon the uh, opportunity. 
otherwise uh, he would be remiss. Um, this is taken as something to be beneficial for uh, the people as a whole, you see. So that once we go to the ego, egotistical individual, then in order to alienate ourselves from that, we have another move to the simultaneous um, reincarnation notion of consciousness. And that brings us very close, I believe, to uh, part of the attitude that we want when we're thinking about docile. 